Hey Capricorns, welcome to your general reading for the second half of February, which will of course be Pisces season. Oh, let's see, Six of Pentacles, what's going to go on? So if you're new, welcome. Please remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get all the videos I post each month. Okay guys, so here we have the Six of Pentacles jump out and the Five of Wands straight away. Okay, so here I'm feeling like if you're already in um, a relationship, you may be now wanting to put time and effort into sorting out whatever it has that's been going on, okay? You want to rebalance the situation here. This could be Mars, the Five of Wands, and um, Five being your fifth house, house of relationships. It could even be relationships with family, friends, things like that now getting rebalanced. So maybe before um, you was taking a lot of crap off them and, you know, you're not going to no longer do that, okay? Um, also maybe vice versa, okay? So it's always like that. It can be you or somebody else that you're dealing with. So <clears throat> because we have cross watchers. So yeah, I feel like... There's a rebalancing going on here with the Six of Pentacles. So if you've been giving too much energy, you're now going to start balancing and taking some energy back. And like I said, long-term relationships, you're ready to put things right here with the Six of Pentacles and Five of Wands. Mercury does go into retrograde on the 17th of February until the 10th of March, guys. So it is about sorting out issues like from the past and things like that. So maybe even if you're not in a long-term relationship, maybe you want to sort out money issues or um, things with your job, let's say. Maybe things with your house, you're finally getting around to putting money into it and fixing what wasn't right, that sort of thing. Because Venus um, will be like at the very base of your solar chart here. Ooh, Page of Cups could be a younger water sign making you a love offer. So if you are looking for a new partner here, it may be somebody younger than you coming towards you, okay? I feel like you may attract somebody now who's quite curious with a page energy, okay? So maybe you feel like, oh, this person is quite young or immature or something. I feel like that's not the case. Um, I just feel like they're curious because how this page is looking here, I feel like they just want to know more about you. So you could be attracting in a younger water sign. It doesn't really have to be. It could just again be the fact that we're in Pisces season. Seven of Cups and the High Priestess has come out in every other reading to indicate Pisces season. It may just be for you that it's the Page of Cups. So the Knight of Wands, yeah, this person that you could be attracting towards you um, that's very intrigued by you, also a lot of sexual energy here, so very passionate um, and coming towards you with speed here, you know, they seem very interested in you. They may be, um, as it's mirrored by, sorry, we froze there, so as it's mirrored by um, the Six of Pentacles, it could be that they have a very unusual job um, compared to you and that's what's um, intriguing you towards them you know um, lighting some sort of passion here it's I feel intrigued maybe they're being quite secretive with his mask on there and that's what's you know, intriguing them. It could be you that's acting like this. So it could be you that has an unusual job and that's what intrigues them and pulls them towards you. They're, you know, excited to learn new things here. And this is, could be why they're coming up as a page. Maybe they're not younger than you. They just may be um, not as educated as you in whatever it is you're doing to earn your money, something like that. And they're really interested in it. So I'm seeing like uh, maybe somebody like, um, stood with a drink in their hand, maybe a coffee or a drink in a bar and you get talking here like and this person is interested in you. Like, oh, so what do you do? They want to know. 
queen of swords. Don't be so harsh on them. <laughs> you might be like, what? In the club? That's a no-no from me. Because <laughs> the queen of um, swords here, she can be quite cold and quite cutting. Although here, she just looks, like I said here, more... Um, educated about something than this person so this person may be looking to you for answers Capricorn they may be like wanting to ask you something or maybe asking you can we finally sort out this feud that's been going on it could even be about money here you know like you could find yourself asking people like look I want to put it to rest you know let's do this but it might turn into an argument because of Mercury and retrograde people often take communication at this time very badly especially if they're sensitive about what it is you want to talk about so you might want to talk if it is about money here because six of pentacles is about repaying loans so and like I said it could be somebody doing this to you they're not trying to be awkward but it might be that Mercury makes it feel awkward and turn into an argument Mercury will be um, retrograding all the water signs this time. So that will be tricky as well. It's definitely like going to be affecting people coming towards us um, with unfinished love business. Three of Wands here. So yeah, good news coming in and good things coming in for you here. Um, this not... Um, major things here you could be traveling um this might be having your full attention at the moment like okay i'm going to travel so i'm making plans here to save money um you know and how much is it going to cost me how much am i going to spend while i'm there things like that seeing new lands um traveling overseas it could be somebody traveling to see you as well especially um like i said you may be a trader you may be trading or buying something overseas or selling th things from overseas or something like that. You could be even like wanting to buy a new car even here with the three of one. You know, it's like getting transport here. You may be thinking a lot about, okay, do I need a new car? This car works fine. But so if you're going to buy it in a retrograde, making big purchases, make sure you look at guarantees everything properly okay this is where you need to be queen of swords energy you need to be on the button here if you're waiting for somebody they might be um traveling a lot as well at this time if it's not you there so knight of swords okay so you've got quite a few people in this reading so you may be um busy at this time whether it's work or just general family chit chat and getting around and helping other people you know um judgment and the hierophant i feel like it's divine timing for somebody to come in as long as you have um healthy boundaries and you know to take everything with a pinch of salt not um you know argue back with them i feel like as long as you stay true to yourself this person has to come towards you in truth right because you're in this queen of swords energy um you've ascended so they're coming towards you with the truth, but the truth might hurt you with the Knight of Swords energy. Okay, so I, I did a reading the other night, like, is the grass greener on the other side? And it kind of makes me think of this situation, right? Because there's a lot of people involved. So maybe it's somebody asking you or you asking somebody else, have you seen or been dating somebody else while we haven't been together? It might start off like a joke and then you find out, well, yeah, I dated three other people. And then you're like, what the? <laughs> really? Okay. Um, because the judgment here is about second chances here. Um, and the Hierophant, I, I'm viewing it like, you know, the divine saying, okay, it's time for you lot to have this conversation now for this truth clarity to come out. But I'm feeling like that, like, and in that video that I did, right, it came out that, you know, the grass wasn't greener, but we just always say the grass isn't greener on the other side. The grass could be greener on the other side if they're now watering that grass and taking care of that grass, right? 
so you know I feel like it's important you find out the truth but I think it could be a little bit upsetting as well but I think it's time you knew the truth so I with the judgment and the hierophant here it could be now that the truth is finally revealed to you that could be difficult might not be but I just feel like um you know there could be issues you just need to have boundaries okay people might be trying to push your boundaries at this time and get your attention so there may be issues around fencing in your house and things like that um maybe with neighbors and things and you know you have to stand your ground but being honest and honorable here it's like you're going to be tested by something and you know what you believe to be true might not actually be the truth and if you've been you know working for somebody and they haven't been paying you enough and you find out look you haven't even paid me enough you could step forward and be like this is um not okay with me and they might just turn around and say well if you look at the contract this is exactly what you agreed to be paid so you may just be like huh well it's actually not okay with me so if you're charging people for um, services uh, make sure you put everything properly in the fine details or reading the fine details something like that okay because there's some sort of um, finer detail that you're missing that might actually be damaging so let's say you have a court case and you're missing like some fine details it could be quite damaging but on the upside it's like you know your services are worth more and you're be this is being brought to your attention to make sure you're charging the right amount or to make sure people don't cross your boundaries and respect you and things so it's it's something painful that's been brought to your attention, but for the greater good. Oh, what did I say? The truth is being brought to your attention. And you know, like when we get the truth with the sun, it can be healing and soft. I feel like this is a harsh truth that you might find out. Okay. Good luck, guys.